Welcome back, and I've got another fun experiment for you today. What we're going to be looking at is the kinetic theory of gases. And then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar and you leave it alone. I'm not sure you expected that to happen, and neither did I. So, let's try and explain what's happening. Electric fields apply forces to charges. Why does putting two transparent things on top of each other do something so strange when you turn it through 90 degrees? So, over 100 years ago, it was truly amazing that any scientist knew what a gas was and how it behaved. And names like Boltzmann and Einstein spring to mind as people who began to get their heads around what was going on in a gas, even though they couldn't see the particles. So, as a teacher, what I need is a good model that behaves like gas particles that can help us explain what's going on with something we can't actually see because it's too small. So, to try and make the kinetic theory of gases a little bit more visible, here's the apparatus. It consists of a base that has a motor in it, and I'll show you that in a minute. And inside it is some ball bearings, which are going to represent the particles in a gas, or the molecules, and a piece of uh, polystyrene that acts as a sort of piston or plunger. And what we'll do is we'll turn this on and see what it does. Inside our apparatus, as I said, is a motor and it's eccentric, so it shakes like mad. So I'm going to turn up the voltage to the motor and it'll get very noisy in a second, but what it will do is it will bombard all those little ball bearings lying on the bottom at the moment and make them behave like a gas. Now, I know I said this apparatus shows the kinetic theory of gases, but at the moment it's not shaking and the ball bearings are pretty much stationary. So you could consider them to be like they would be in a solid at absolute zero, bonded and not moving at all. And if they have a little bit of vibration, they're behaving like a solid with some thermal energy. But as soon as we turn up the motor, they kind of move around slightly more. And you could argue at very low speeds, they're behaving like the particles behave in a liquid, moving around randomly in an unbonded manner. But let's turn up the motor's amplitude and see how a gas behaves. So let's now get it to behave like a gas. So I'm going to turn up the voltage on the power supply and what you'll see is the particles moving up and down and they're pushing the piston up, they're pushing the piece of polystyrene up, which means they're creating a pressure gases create a pressure. You might notice that you can see some of the balls moving and others seem to be a bit of a blur and that's really quite interesting. So now let's turn it on again and this time we'll turn up the voltage even further and see what happens. So you'll notice now that the gases particles are moving much faster there's much more of a blur and there's greater pressure. So now let's do the experiment without the piece of polystyrene in. So I'll turn the power supply on and turn up the voltage. And you'll notice here that the gas particles are completely filling the container. But what's important is you can see that their movement is random and unbonded, so that's what makes it behave like a gas. What's also important is the gas particles are moving at different speeds, and some of them will be having very high speeds that have high kinetic energies, and others have lower kinetic energies. But there's an average kinetic energy, and that indicates what temperature the gas is at. So you now know that the average kinetic energy of a gas is indicative of its temperature. For A-level students, it's 3 over 2 kT, uh, where the temperature is in Kelvin. But what's also interesting is, as we give them more and more kinetic energy, it's really important you notice that some of them move very fast and others don't. That gases have an average kinetic energy, they don't all have the same speed. And what's also interesting here is that if a planet, or somewhere like the Moon, 
has a weak gravitational field and yet has a very hot surface, the particles would be moving very fast and if I was to take the top off, some of them would escape and never come back and slowly but surely you'd lose your atmosphere. So what can we learn from this lovely piece of apparatus? Well firstly that gases are made of particles and the particles are unbonded. They have a temperature, so if they have a temperature they move around freely and randomly. If the temperature is low, they have a lowish average kinetic energy and some of them are moving very fast, some are moving slowly, but it's the average kinetic energy that counts and they create a low pressure. And if we increase the temperature, the average kinetic energy increases some particles move very fast, others are slower, and because the temperature's gone up, the pressure increases. So, I hope you enjoyed that video and learnt a little bit more about the kinetic theory of gases. I'll do another one soon, and I look forward to seeing you then.